Hey guys, Retro Stitch Gaming here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got our second badge from Mister. It was fairly straightforward. Leonardo made short work of her Starmie. We also caught our fourth party member, who was our Meowth, who we nicknamed Jacob. And now we're just going to do a little bit of exploring around Vermilion City, and then we're going to go catch our fifth party member, who we're hoping is a Drowsy. If we can find one, should be fairly straightforward. I'm joined by Stacy again. Hey guys, again, I'm not at work. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, got the old rod here. Yeah, we tend to, um, when I'm at work, Stacy's normally at home, and when she's at work, I'm normally at home. So we, it's rare that we get to do episodes together. It's amazing we actually have a relationship together. No, I'm only <laughs> joking, not really. <laughs> Right, we've got five Pokeballs, so we should be fine f finding our Drowsy. I think with our Persian, when we have one, I'm going to use it as maybe teach it some like dark type moves. Oh, I like it, yeah. Is a something to use against psychic Pokemon. Very I don't joker. think we've really got anything, any dark. We've got um, our Leonardo who knows Bite, but it'd be nice to have something with a bit more of a more powerful oh, dark yeah. move. And we can also teach him some other types of moves. I'm looking forward to using it. I've never used a... I think I might have used a Persian once on, like, Pokemon Yellow, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> Going back, like, to when I was really young, a kid, when it came out. So... I remember, um... Before, like, I actually had a Persian in my team, um, I remember um, liking the idea of it, but then, because I was a kid, I couldn't be bothered to, um train it on levels and stuff so I stick it in the daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I've like rarely ever used a daycare other than for uh, breeding. Not. No. And I just feel like the daycare wasn't doing anything and then I just released it. I was like, well it's it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> That's how lazy a child I was people. Like, I'm like the such first a lazy time kid. I played Pokemon Blue, I didn't know how to switch your Pokemon order on your menu. Oh, did you not? No, so I literally just used my Blastoise the whole way through the game. It was a ridiculously high level. <laughs> and like, I waited like, for it to like pass or die or yeah. something, and then it was just like, use a different Pokemon. I had like other things in my team that I'd caught along the way, but they were just sort of there. So I like had a really high level Blastoise, and then I just sort of had like a Pidgeotto maybe, yeah. and you just didn't... where they, they gained levels across the way. Yeah, you didn't really know, like, when you was a kid, you didn't really know how to, like, well, when... prioritise and, like, what was good against what you just yeah. kind of hoped for the best, really. Yeah, it well, was when... more, like, about brute strength than, uh... Yeah. Well, when Pokemon Blue first came out, I was, like, only, what, five? Something like that, so I didn't know what I was doing, but I, I learnt it as it went along. And here we go, we've got a Drowser. Hey! So we're hoping that we can add this one to our team. Oh, uh, Jacob already knows Bite, which is useful. We'll just keep... Oh, God, he's going to sleep. Let's say we'll keep him out so we can weaken him down, but he sent us to sleep. I might just try my luck. Let's let's go for it. Let's just try Pokeball, see if we can catch it. I feel like we should... Wait, is this a boy drowsy? I feel like we should call him Udine. I've already got a name lined up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to call him Baku, because okay. that is the mythical creature that drowsies are based off. And oh, it's okay. also the name of like a character that I really love in Final Fantasy IX, the leader of Tantalus. Oh. I love Final Fantasy IX, one of my favourite games. You also like Final Fantasy IX, don't you? Don't, because that also gets me crying like a baby as well, yeah, because it's really emotional. <laughs> Everything makes you cry, as we've established. Hey, do you know what? I'm an emotional person. <laughs> <laughs> I can appreciate a good story, I can appreciate a good death scene, a good love story, Like I can appreciate it all, so... <laughs> so what if I get a um, bit teary-eyed when I get caught up in the moment? <laughs> Baku does look a bit drowsified actually, so he must be based off the same creature. Mm, a descendant okay. of the legendary animal Baku, see? Which is said to eat dreams, it is skilled at hypnotism. Yeah, so we're going to nickname him Baku. Pretty cool, nice little name, I quite like it. And that's our fifth party member, so we've got two party members now that we need to train up and grind up some levels. We'll stick them at the front of the team and do it as we go along, but I also might do a little bit of training off off camera. Because they're both obviously like 10 levels or so behind. But there yeah. you go, look, there's five members of our team. A quick recap, so we've got Jacob, our Meowth, Baku, our Drowsy, our newest member, Randy, our level 21 Nido King, Polly, our level 20 Thero, and Leonardo, our starter, who's our level 24 War Turtle. 
I need to use an awakening. Actually, I'm not going to bother using an awakening because I'm only going to switch him out. Have you decided what you're going to have for your last place yet? Or are you I've, still in I've deciding? I've decided that I... I don't remember if I've said it in a previous, previous episode, but I've decided that I want an electric Pokemon because it will cover a couple of things that our rest of our team can't... can't ugh, sorry, century. the rest of our team can't cover at the moment. Okay, yeah. We've not really got anything that's strong against flying types and water types. So it was either a grass or an electric. But I thought I'd go with the electric, and I really love Jolteon, but I've had a Jolteon before. You've got Magneton, but I've had Magneton quite a few times on Electrobus? other games. So yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be an Electrobus, which is okay, what I'm going to go for, as that is a Fire I Red, that Electrobus. is a Fire Red yeah. exclusive. You can only get it on Fire Red. You get Magmar instead if you play Leaf Green. I've used Magmar quite a few times on Pokemon Gold. I think I've only ever had an Electables once. And that was many, many, many years ago on Pokemon Crystal. As there's a daycare man on Pokemon Crystal. The daycare man's on Pokemon Gold and Silver, but they don't give you anything. But on Pokemon Crystal, they give you an egg. And I think you basically have a chance of getting like all the new baby Pokemon. So you could get a Elekid, or a Magbear, or oh, a what Snoopchum, did I get? I think or I a got Clefar. I think, I think I got... Iggly buff. I think on mine I got an Iggly buff. Yeah, I think, I, think, I, think, I think they're the things that you get the option of, and I ended up getting an Elekid. Oh, so yes. I thought that's a pretty cool one to have, so I remember using it in my team. Do you know what? I, really I know like this Electables. sounds like completely random, but like, do you know Magma? It always reminds me of Cornflakes. Ma cornflakes? Don't ask why. Do you know whenever I look at Magma, no, the design I don't of Magma, I, I always think of Cornflakes. I don't, I don't, I don't even know do where the what? link is there. I, I know, neither do I. Don't I. Understand I think it's because like the box of Cornflakes is literally red. Red and yellow. I don't know what it is. Is it? Are they red and yellow? I think it's red and yellow. I thought they were red and white. Red and white, and I think there's the yellow bits because right. it's like a no, cockroach really... on it. <laughs> that is a really <laughs> random thing. And I don't even eat cereal. Like, quick disclaimer: I don't eat cereal or anything like that. I, I don't like milk, so um, <laughs> I don't know. Every time I look at it, it just makes think makes me think. Oh crap! Face. What have I just done that for? I have just cocked up big time there. Why did you just? I don't know. I meant I was meant to send out random. I was meant to send out random. That was. We were lucky that you didn't use shot. Yeah. I think it's because I was very confused about the fact of you comparing Magma to Cornflakes and I didn't understand. <laughs> Double kick should take short. Oh, it's not quite going to do enough. Left it with one HP. Sonic Boom. That's a move you have to watch out for early on. I know it only does 20 damage, so it's pretty. a pretty pathetic move later on, but this early in the game, it can really get you in trouble. It only takes yeah. two or three Sonic Booms to wipe out your Pokemon, so. Try and get rid of their Magnemites quite quickly. Jacob's level 14. Engineer Braxton. That was electric. <laughs> yeah, Mag <laughs> Magnemites are good Pokemon. Magneton. I really like Magneton. Wicked Pokemon. Especially now that it has a third evolution as well, Magnezone. Which I think I had in my first playthrough on Pokemon Black 2. I think I had a Magnezone in my team. Really good. Quite low health Magnetons I have, but their defense more than makes up for it oh now it's dog versus cat here so we're going to swap out and now we're going to go into leonardo and this time we're not cocking up Growlithe, one of my favorite pokemon i think i've said before absolutely adore arcanine beautiful pokemon very strong very fast brilliant my favorite fire type from gen 1 probably my favorite fire type overall made quite short work of it is he going to have another grab? Oh, Vulpix. I also love Vulpix though. Ninetales is an awesome Pokemon. Ninetales is just beautiful. Yeah. I think it's like a thing of beauty. It's yeah, like, it is. It's just absolute stunning. And I actually did really like the new Alolan style Vulpix as well. Yeah, I the, the ice, ice version yeah, of it I was really it, I good. I thought it was wicked. Really good design. Really interesting. Same with the um, Ice Sand Slash. I thought that looked that really good really as well. That was really pretty, yeah. It was really, really well designed. And yeah, some out. of the newer ones I didn't like. Like, I I didn't like the new Tug Trio. Well, it had a fringe. It actually yeah, had. I it had just, a classic know, Stacey front fringe. <laughs> like, it was... Uh, I know it's based <laughs> off, like, those... Like island statue things, or, or uh, what? no, I wasn't I can't feeling think what the magic. That, but I, I don't, I wasn't too keen on the design to be but honest. I absolutely love Nintendo but, and I love Pokemon, but yeah. that was <laughs> the majority of the low in forms I do like. What about the um, was it the executor with the really long neck? Yeah, I wasn't too keen to start with, but then again, no, I, 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 I no, I, I've grown to like it to be for honest. For me, it was a thumbs oh, down from me. No, no, no I've grown to like it. Good. Uh, adding the dragon type to it as well, I thought was a nice little um, made it quite a useful Pokemon. 
And then obviously you've got the Persian, which was cool, and the Rat Kate as well. What of what you had the Golem, weren't too bad. I'm trying to think, there was quite a few. I'm trying to think what other. I can't remember it's been a while forms since I it Yeah, we've only played Sun and Moon once, haven't we? So. I don't even think I actually completed it. No. The, the, you see, the thing is with Sun and Moon, I thought it was a good game, but I feel like, in a way, they kind of like not dumbed it down, but they kind of made it a bit yeah, too some easy. Of, some of the trials were quite hard, yeah. but I just couldn't be doing with. Where it told you, you where to go. It was go. constantly telling you what to do, and you were being stopped every two minutes with loads of dialogue, and it was like, just leave me alone to play the game on my own how it I wasn't like it. traditional Pokemon no, it just like didn't fit, when yeah. literally you kind of go out make your own way around and kind of have being, to work it out you were constantly being badgered weren't you and it was like just leave yeah. me alone it was telling you where to go it's like I'll, I'll be able to work it out let me let me just do it myself yeah and like a few times I got quite frustrated with it and like and from, I just wanted to crack on and like get yeah. into it and I couldn't when you've constantly was, got someone telling you where to go and what was, to do and then you'd have like little pointers and stuff yeah, you know where it would just, like tell you where yeah, to go like, it, it took away that yeah, it just took away from the game a bit for me. Everything, obviously, the visuals were beautiful, and I thought some of the island challenges were, were yeah, quite hard. They were quite good, but yeah. it was just the overall yeah. not really letting you explore and do and what I, you want to do. I kind find of they've thing. done that a lot more. It's getting more and more like that with every game that they make. Like, um, obviously, the Pokemon Let's Go games yeah. that have been out look a bit like that. I could be proved wrong. I'm not. I'm not sure whether to get them or not yet. I think we probably will end up getting one when we to try it out Just for the to Switch. See what it's yeah. Like, yeah. The visuals and everything look amazing. I love how the Pokemon follow you and you can ride them and all that. It looks absolutely brilliant. But again, it's just the little handheld things. Like you're not allowed in Brock's gym unless you've got a Water or a Grass Pokemon. It's like. I feel like that's made too easy. Yeah. Just, I. I worked that out. I know. Fair enough. You've put it in there. So like as a to advise people like you. You know, who haven't played Pokemon because yeah. they want to get the young kids into it, which is brilliant. So tell them all, oh, this will be easier if you have a grass or water Pokemon. So they know that you don't need to make it to force you to have one. Yeah. But then again, I feel like... Just tell them so they know. Yeah. So, you, 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 so you're aware. But then in a way, they're kind of like people that have been playing the game for years and buying the games for years. It kind of throws them and like makes them kind of not want to buy it because it's been yeah. made it's Watered simplified down. it's very simplified yeah. um, to a point where it's it's too easy and it's too it, it, well it's more for children now but like you said um obviously i understand that they want to bring children in yeah, and they want to like want, start appealing yeah, to want to bring but, more people into pokemon and you understand as well that you actually can't please everybody because not oh, everybody no, yeah. not You'll everybody, never please everybody yeah well it'd be surprising if you could yeah, but you, not everybody is going to agree with whatever they're going to do there's always going to be something that someone's going to pick upon and someone's not going to that's enjoy that's why but. when you're making a game don't try and please everybody because if you try and please everybody you're probably going to please no one so stick to your main customers that have been buying pokemon for years your main fan base yeah and I give totally, them, give I totally them what they agree. want because if you try and please everybody you're gonna not attract any new ones because it's like well this isn't very good and you're also going to lose your core fan base that have been pokemon fans like us for 20 years since the beginning i know it's for children it's brilliant you want to get more children into it but you don't have to make it so handheld. Eh? Pokemon Blue and Red weren't handheld when I was a kid. And to be fair, it, as I didn't well, know what like, I was doing, but you worked children, it out. It, children, the challenge is good. Children are cleverer than they're giving them the credit. credit for. Yeah, yeah, no, they're like they will work it out. They, exactly. It's just um, we had to learn, and it's like and we it's, did. Yeah, exactly. And now it's like a learning curve for like children like, to learn. So I don't think it should be as simplified as much as what it is. Yeah. But did you have Pokemon Yellow as a kid? My but, brother did. I didn't. Well, my brother did. I remember when I first got Pokemon Yellow, and it was you started off with a Pikachu. But so, so yeah, it follows you, you around, had, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. But you had no way of um, beating Brock with your Pikachu, and it was like I remember having a few friends who played Pokemon Yellow up to the first gym and didn't know what to do. But obviously, like I'd managed to work out that you could catch a Mankey or a Nidoran, or you could even evolve Caterpie into a Butterfree. So your Butterfree and Mankey Nidoran would be able to beat his Onix and Geodude. Your Pikachu won't do it. So, but yeah, so it was a tough challenge. I got to Brock, obviously he absolutely annihilated me. So then it makes you think, right, I need to get something that's going to be able to beat him. So I went and caught a Manka. And the low kick made short work of it. So it made you think, but kids will work that out. I worked it out as a six, seven year old. Exactly. So kids, just... use, they'll, they'll work it out that, oh, that hasn't worked. Make, make use your brain don't just make it easy for them it's boring yeah exactly that's the thing when it literally gives you everything yeah. on a plate you want to be left in a bit of suspense and a bit of like you you can't give everyone 
like it on a plate like no. there for you it's you've got to let people experience yeah, and let people exactly. think that's the whole joy and the whole fun of pokemon yeah, yeah. like i know it gets frustrating you know when you can't beat a gym leader and you're like oh and it's really annoying but... but then it makes it so much better and you get so much reward when you finally do beat that gym leader oh yeah like it's like an achievement yeah you feel it's like an you've achievement. achieved it. oh god that's just beat our randy our sonic boom is dangerous like i said we i feel like we've just ranted quite a bit guys <laughs> i apologize but Please, please, if you disagree with us, let us know and we can have a good discussion about it. Yeah, I'd, uh, we'd I'd, love to know like your I'm, thoughts Obviously, on, um... that's just our opinion. That's that's another great thing about Pokemon. Everyone has their opinion. Obviously, other people might not agree with us. So please let us know. Oh, yeah, we're open to have a discussion, see what other people think. Some people might agree, some people might not. Like I said, everyone's different. Everyone's got different yeah, exactly. things that they enjoy, everything, different things that they don't yeah. enjoy. Like I said, you can't please everybody. Yeah. Everybody's different and everybody likes different things for different reasons and exactly. so forth. So, But yeah, like like Mitch said, we would love to hear your opinions and hear what you have to say about... Um, yeah, the new Pokemon it, games yeah. coming out and yeah, where, where the Pokemon universe is going. Hopefully, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll check it out. We'll see. Well, I might watch a few other people doing let's plays. Maybe see what see a bit more about it before I actually splash out the money and buy it. As obviously, I'm the Nintendo say... Switch games are a bit more expensive than when you used to buy the Game Boy and DS games. So mm -hmm. I don't really. Obviously, we collect a lot of games. So there's a lot of other games that we want coming out around the same time. So I don't really want to go and splash out fifty pounds for it if I'm not going to enjoy it. As there's a lot of other games coming out that we want. So. But, so yeah, I'll watch a few Let's Plays, see what yeah, and like, honest other reviews, opinions be yeah. yeah, yeah, and make my own decision then. I think we will end up getting it, because I don't think we'll be able to resist. If we I know, go, it's if one we, of those, isn't it, where like, if just we because it's Pokemon, you'll buy it yeah, anyway. Yeah. If we don't buy it, it's going to be the uh, only Pokemon game that we don't have. We've got every other Pokemon it's game. It's quite so. sad when you put it that way. It's yeah, the it, only Pokemon we game don't, we don't have. If we don't have. get it, it's not gonna, we're not going to have a complete about collection. About to say, every other Pokemon game on every console, we've got it. So yeah, exactly. I think it would just be one of those really is, uh, it's Pokemon, so we'll buy it anyway, um, to be fair. Getting back to the Let's Play, I think I could be in trouble here, as Randy has fainted, and this Magneton could completely annihilate our Leonardo. Luckily, it's used Sonic <gasps> Boom, oh, not so Thundershock. Close. I don't hopefully think. We'll ah. oh brilliant I didn't think that was going to do it but I didn't mind. think that was either I thought Some there was going to be like XP. a little bit of health left over and we'll finish off well. these trainers around this area I think we've about done them all now this kid here I don't think I've battled actually let's heal up quickly I've got no super potions I've got a potion just to prop Leonardo up a little bit more <laughs> let me see if I've got an awakening actually no Oh, we yeah, have got a revive. Got a revive. You have got an awakening. Have I? Yes. Just go and scroll Get past. Randy back up. I don't really want to have to make a trip to and f back and back and forth, back and forth, back back and forth from the Pokemon Center. So <laughs> I remember you used to do that. Like, yeah. I used to go back and forth to the Pokemon Center because I didn't want to use my potions. Well, I don't mind doing that. A, yeah, I was when a bit I'm playing... like a cheapskate, and I didn't want to like <laughs> keep. Uh... When I'm playing on my own, I don't mind doing that. But flipping the viewers don't want to see us going back and forth and back and forth from the Pokemon that's, Center. That's that's the whole be point of editing. <laughs> that's why you get to yeah, edit know, that bit out, so they don't they don't see the boring parts. They get to see all the let's take on this level around. Oh, for God, I've just woke him up, and now he's poisoned. Um, we're going to have to change out. Oh, Jacob, he's not having a great time. <laughs> he's not having the best time, is he really? Um, let's go into Baku, actually, because even though he's seven levels lower, he has got a type advantage. So let, I think that he should know Confusion, surely. That's like the basic psychic move. Yes, we do. Here we go. We should hopefully be able to... Uh... Oh, God, he got a critical hit. That was a lot of damage for a poison sting. <laughs> well, he's quite a few <coughs> levels higher than you, so... That did a decent amount though, one more will do it. Oh no, he's he, he's gonna take it out. And crit two critical hits in a row, that that is a joke. <laughs> I told you I'm incredibly unlucky. Let's let Jacob finish it off. He's injured anyway, we may as well. I think this might be about the last trainer on the route. Yeah, we're gonna need to catch a Pokemon that can use cut as well at some point, as I don't want to teach it to a party member. Um I think I'll just go catch a Diglett, the easiest option. He's there as backup as well in third gym if we need him. I love Diglett. I love Diglett and Dugtree, a really, really cool Pokemon. Let's, uh, let's go into Ramda just to once again do anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> a bit overkill, but yeah, my uh, Nido's better than your Nido. My Nido's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> 
can't remember. I think this might be the last trainer on the route. We should be able to take that out fairly easy. Sorry, that noise is my dog having a scratch attack. She's just one of those dogs. I think dogs she's gone bed. <laughs> that like as soon as like you do something, she, she just wants... has to be the centre of attention. Yeah, she wants to do something to ruin it. I will make a noise because you're recorded. <laughs> it's what she's like. But any other time, she literally is yeah. quiet as a man. Yeah, but she, I think she does stuff on purpose. I well, really she's do. took herself to bed now anyway. Yeah, so at least so. she's out of the way. She's... Right, let's see if we've defeated all the trainers on this route. I think we have, unless there's one hiding in the... Ah, this, this is the last one, I think, this guy hiding in the corner. Win, lose or draw. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. That's the way me and Stacey decide everything. Who's going to do this? Well, let's rock, paper, and scissors for it. I always <laughs> lose. It's very annoying. Well, I just know you so well, so I know exactly <laughs> what you're going to do. It's frustrating. Polywag. I love Polywag. Pokemon I like. Love Polyrath. Love Politoed. I have a Politoed in my uh, online battling team for Sun and Moon. Really good Pokemon. Really ball care. <laughs> you're doing the Misty's Politoed, yeah. aren't you? Poly, 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 poly. <laughs> yeah, I love that in the anime. <laughs> Poliwhirl is like one of the best Pokemon then he evolves into Poliwhirl and all he wants to do is dance. <laughs> poly, 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 poly. <laughs> no, that makes me laugh. Horser, we'll just let Polly finish off this Horser. Like really I've never Misty's had I've never had a Horser. Never had I've one. I've never had a Seedra or I a Horser. I don't think I have either. I like Kingdra, I love the design of strong Pokemon, but I've never had one. I don't. I don't think I've ever used one in a team. No. Which is a shame really, I should really Because they, they use... are quite good. Yeah, I think I, should, I do need to use one, really. But I think it's because you always start with, obviously, Blastoise, and that's yeah. like your water Pokemon, so it, you've never really I, had cause to yeah. use one. And there's that many water Pokemon on this game, that then if I, I do just... start, if I do start with Charmander or Bulbasaur, I'll probably get I'll probably get a Gyarados or a Poliwrath, like I just said, I like Poliwrath, or you've got Lapras and Vapor. There's so many good water Pokemon on this game that that's probably why I've never had a Seedra. Sorry about the noise, guys. Yeah, uh, the dog's being a pain. She, she's back. She's uh, panting like a good un. For no reason other than to be annoying. Right, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon and we're going to end it in the same area as last time. Thank you for watching, guys, as always. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching. Thank you uh, very much, guys. Yeah, don't forget to leave a like on this video, please. It'd be greatly appreciated. And please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on the rest of the Let's Play. We'd really appreciate it. And Thanks. don't forget as well to click that little bell to stay notified yep, for so every time we post a video. Yeah, which is, as you'll see on our um, profile, it's every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday that we upload a new video. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!